How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to increase ATP in your body. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training for me, simply comment below in the comment section. I will get back to you guys with more details. So what is ATP? ATP is also known as adenosine triphosphate. It's the main source of energy for cells in our body. Let's go over some of the benefits of increased ATP in your body, then we will go over how we can actually increase it. So there are numerous different health benefits of increasing ATP in your body. Some include reduced stress, more energy, and losing weight faster. As you can see, there's definitely a whole lot to like about increasing your ATP production in your body. So how can we actually increase? What do we have to do? First tip is the easiest one and you don't need anything fancy aside from buying some creatine at your local pharmacy or Walmart. Creatine increases ATP production and allows you to have more energy. Creatine is a supplement that I am a little against though just because it can increase blood pressure in certain individuals. So if you are taking, if you are going to take creatine, I highly, highly recommend that you watch your blood pressure and make sure it doesn't spike once you start taking the creatine. The second tip is to make sure you are properly hydrated. If you want to increase your ATP production in your body, you need to make sure that you are drinking adequate amount of water throughout the day and that you are not dehydrated. I recommend drinking at least two liters of water a day. If you weigh more, you can drink more water. The same goes for people who are active during the day. The third tip is to make sure you're getting enough vitamin B12. This is crucial for delivery of oxygen to the cells. The last tip is probably the best tip, or is probably the easiest tip I can give you and the most enjoyable, and that is just make sure you're getting enough sleep during the night. If you're only sleeping five or six hours at night, uh, you need more sleep than this. I recommend at least seven hours of sleep. For most people, I recommend eight to nine hours of sleep. This is the perfect range. The reason you need to sleep to increase ATP production is that your ATP recharges when you are sleeping, you guys. So make sure to get enough rest and your ATP production will be high. So let's talk about the creatine a little bit more. I have tried creatine before. My blood pressure was around 125, 130, 135, so anywhere in that range. Some people may think that's a little bit high, but as long as it's not constantly over 140, 150, 160, then you're you're okay. So I was around 125, 130, 135. I started taking creatine. No joke, my blood pressure was 160 over 100. That's right, 160. I'm like, what did I do differently? And a lot of people notice this. They'll do everything right. They'll start a workout program or they'll be on their workout program. They'll start taking creatine. Everything will be going good. They'll go to their doctor. They'll get a blood pressure test. Their blood pressure will be out of this world and they'll have no idea what's going on. They'll tell the doctor, oh, I'm eating healthy. I'm doing everything right. The doctor will be like, are you taking anything? Oh, I just started taking creatine. Boom. That's why. So some people watch your blood pressure. That's all I can say. Other people, they'll be fine. But some people, they will see an increase in blood pressure. End of video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks again.